A movie star, rock star, and he's one of the most intriguing celebrities of our time. I'm Jared Leto. But 30 years ago, he was just an aspiring actor living in New York City. And only E.T. has Jared Leto's first ever interview before he was famous. J-A-R-E-D, L-E-T-O. Hey, I know that girl. Years before his breakout role on My So-Called Life, Jared Leto was just your average college student living in the Big Apple. And E.T.'s uncovered this rare and straight-up random interview with 19-year-old Leto from 1990. I'm Jared Leto. He just happened to be outside this NYC club where E.T. was doing a story about the country's hottest dance crazes. And yeah, young Jared had some thoughts. Jared, what is the new dance these days? What is everybody doing? Uh, well, in my opinion, there's a few different types of dances. Uh, one everybody knows about now because Madonna is called Vogue, and I guess that's kind of, that's like a dance she's just riding. I think it's kind of out of style as far as the club scene is concerned. I think a house dancing is um, pretty much the the kind of dance that everybody's into. It's a, it's a real physical dance, not laid back or anything. You know, it's just, uh, it's got a lot to do with, um, a lot of street, you know, it's like street dance. A lot of kids do it, you know? What's it look like, Jared? Um, Stop looking around. Look at you should, you should uh, come inside and maybe you'll see what it looks like, you know? Right. We'll all be dancing a little later, you know, yeah. doing it. But uh, it's got to do with house music, hip-hop, rap, stuff like that, you know? Uh -huh. So house dancing is the new thing. You know? I think hip-house, yeah, house dancing. Uh -huh. Somebody else said something called Stripe. Did you ever hear anything? Stripe. Yeah. I'm not familiar with Stripe, no. no. Uh, or the Bus Stop. The like Bus Stop. Play? Those are probably all just different dance stuff. Like there's the Running Man, there's the Hammer. You know, MC Hammer kind of took the trademark and his, you know, took this little step and called it the Hammer. What's but the Running Man? The Running Man is just, uh, it's kind of old. It's, I, I would call it out of, I don't know if you want to call it out of style, but it's kind of a, you know, used up dance step mm -hmm. that people used to do a lot. And now uh, you see it like on the Palladium or something that's kind of beat like that, you know. Yeah. But, um, it's just old dance step, old house step. Um, was Lombada ever in? Uh, I heard of two people doing the, uh, the Lombada at a, at a good club in New York, and I heard they got the butts kicked. I don't know. I, the Lombada is not uh, a fashionably in dance. I would never consider it fashionably in dance, but I would never do it. I mean, that's like, it's like a dance you have to learn, you know what I mean? For me, dancing is like having fun. You know, dancing is like comes from yourself, you know, and moving naturally. Something you have to practice and learn to me isn't isn't my idea of having a great time, you know what I mean? I want to do something that's natural and I can just flow into. And it takes up too much dance room. You have to have a partner. You know, I dance alone probably 99% of the time. And because uh, I dance all over the place, you know what I mean? But um, the Lombardi, you have to, it's, it's too organized, you know what I mean? I think it's more geared toward an older crowd and a money-making dance, you know? I mean, to me, I, I think it's... Uh, it's worse than, than break dancing is right now, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you know. All right, listen, we're inside. We're going to be on the dance floor. Look for our lights. Come by. I will. We'll, we'll catch your house. I'll try uh, my best. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Tragically, we never saw Jared hit the dance floor that night, but we're happy to have found this snapshot of a Hollywood star in the making. J-A-R-E-D-L-E-T-O.